Hello, welcome back to Richmond. So in this video, we're going to show you how the diode matrix works now that it's fitted and installed. And also we'll discuss whether it's worth fitting a diode matrix to the rest of the layout to facilitate route setting uh, into and out of the station. So first, let's show you the diode matrix and its installation and how it all works. So to test the installation, we're going to use my trusty J72 by Backman, which uh, the reviewers have covered in a previous video. And we're going to run it in and out of the fiddle yard and we're going to set the routes for it. So the first route we're going to set is route number one up. So this will take the train or the loco, whatever, from the up main all the way across the fiddle yard into uh, siding number one, which is this one here. So if we just set all the siding, uh, the points against it for now, and that one as well, and then we select route number one, you'll hear and possibly see all the points firing to set for that route. So just quick visual inspection. Yep, those points are all set. So we can send the J72 off into siding number one. There we go. Now at the moment, this button here for the DMU siding doesn't work because I haven't wired it up. All I've concentrated on doing is wiring up the, the diode matrix itself. The branch good siding here doesn't have a push button yet because I ran out. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we'll, uh, if we set for number one and down, the only thing that changes is the double slip at the fill of the yard throat. And then we can send our little J72 back out onto the down main and off it goes into the station. So if we just reset them onto the up line and then let's say for example we want to put him in number seven so let's just set these points against him. This is just to give you an idea of how it's, how it's, all, go, uh, how it's all going to work. So then we'll press number seven up and you'll see and or possibly see and hear the points were firing as they change. And that was six points firing then at once. So that's, I think that's the, the, the most points that will fire at any one time. And then we can send J72 off through a double slip and then throw the points into siding number seven. There we go. So it's not that difficult to uh, get your head around once you understand the basics of it. So if we, <coughs> excuse me, reach for the diagrams here. So you'll see, as we showed before, the diagram for setting up the root matrix in the other uh, matrix in the first place. So each point is numbered. Both sides of the solenoid have a letter assigned to them. And then we make up the graph, which is the, the actual matrix itself. Each uh, diagonal line represents diode. And then that translates onto the diode matrix board. So down the left hand side, the vertical column is the button, the switches, the buttons, the root buttons. And then along the top, along the horizontal is the solenoid. So each point has, each point has two solenoids an A and a B, and they um, pull towards uh, each other when they, when, they, uh, when they fire. So if we go back to this diagram, so if we set uh, route one on the up, it would fire uh, that one, that one, sorry, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. So one eight, and then all the Bs to uh, to set the route. It's uh, like I say, it's not that complicated once you get your head around it. Um, all of a sudden, it will dawn on you like a blinding flash. And uh, as you can see, it's very, very easy to operate. It's not that easy underneath 
that looks like a right mass of wires. Um, I haven't fixed this panel down yet. So let's just talk about the panel quickly. You've seen this 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 panel here. This is a laminated sheet of A4 paper, which I've uh, made up in Microsoft Word with the help of um, some symbols from GCC Concepts. And uh, I've just laminated it and I put it in an old IKEA photo frame that I had lying about. I was going to use the Perspex front, but when I started drilling into the Perspex, this happened so it's all cracked and broken and doesn't look very good so we didn't bother using that I'll just bend that so it's laminated anyway so it looks quite good it's quite shiny it looks quite professional i think and um, the photo frame is um i've hot glued the uh, mimic diagram into it just to make it a bit more secure and i'm going to i think hinge the uh diagram onto the board, onto the, the frame here, uh, just so it's easy to access. I was going to hot glue the whole thing down, but I think that would uh, that would work against me if I ever get any wiring faults. So that's it. So don't don't be afraid of any diode matrixes if you are working in DC or you use your DC to control your points. Um, it really is, once you get the hang of it, really simple. And uh, the DCC Concepts uh, Diode Matrix Pack it's only about £25 delivered, so it's not going to break the bank. And it comes with plenty of diodes, and they will sell you more or send you more on request. So moving on, I have been thinking about route setting for the scenic section of the layout. So if we just pan the camera around, you can see the, uh, the track in the top of the screen there. Let's just move that up a little bit so you can see a bit better. So we have a main to main crossover just over there and then the uh, up main to goods yard access crossover and then if we pan back around here you'll see the crossover that takes um, the down main into the platform and then a bit further around is the locomotive crossover for the run round. So I thought about setting up various routes. So we've set up one route. Um, from the down line into the station so let's call that route a and that would change the crossover main to main to the normal position as in the straight through that would also change the um, down main to platform crossover to the reverse position and then it would also change the locomotive run round crossover to the normal position okay so then route b would also set the locomotive run around crossover to normal it would also set the uh, down main to platform crossover to normal and it would also set the main to main crossover back there to normal okay so that might be route b so that would enable any uh let's just pan back that would enable any trains to be propelled out of the station in order to run the locomotive round. The locomotive would then, over there, be able to uncouple at the fouling point, draw back into the station, and then route C would set the run round crossover to reverse, the access to the sidings to normal, the catch points or the trap points to reverse, the down main to platform crossover to normal and if we pan around this way I don't want to keep panning and the main to main crossover to reverse to enable the locomotive to run round so that's three routes and then once the locos run round back onto the up main we'd select route B which is straight through on the up line from the platform and then the locomotive can then back onto its train um, couple up push the train back into the station. There are, I suppose, other routes that can be set up for shunting. So, for example, if we just move the camera down a little bit just to show you the goods yard. So, we could have a route D, which, oh, no, that's, that's wrong. So, it could set um, this point here to normal, that point there to normal, and the turntable point to normal. 
and then going back round to there, it will set the goods yard access, access point there to reverse the crossover to the main line to reverse also. And then we could bring the shunter train into the goods yard. However, I think three routes might be enough just for the main lines. And then anything else is, you know, is, is shunting. So maybe we don't need route setting for shunting because we can do that on the fly with buttons or switches. Um, please let me know your thoughts on this. Um, if you think that, you know, £25 for a, route ma a diode matrix just to set three routes is a bit, bit, bit much. Yeah, fair enough. It might not be. It might work really well. Um, I was considering with DCC for um, the points, but I'm kind of put off by the price of the accessory decoders and uh, it looks awful complicated to set up. However, I am tempted after watching Dean Park's video uh, because it looks so easy and you know, forget the cost. But then I'm quite old school with point operation. I like to do it on a control panel, um, but I don't know if I'm keen on miles and miles of wiring. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, as always. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, for next video, after this one, thought about maybe a Q&A. If you think that's a good idea, you know, email me or you know, leave a question in the comments in this video, and I'll do my best to answer them in the next one. Uh, the email address is in the description, and also on the About uh, section of the channel homepage. Uh, please let me know what you, want, what you want me to answer. Any questions, um, we greatly appreciate it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please uh, click that bell icon and uh, the subscribe button so you're subscribed and you get your notifications. Bye for now.